when we were getting a new email from Persis or MTL every like three hours, it seemed like it was just a lot to deal with. You didn't know like where you were going to be even in like two days. Like first it was like uh, online classes and then like uh, maybe some people will have to leave, but we're going to let those who want to stay, stay. And then they were like, actually, we're going to, we're not going to let a lot of people stay. <laughs> and from my perspective, it was, it felt like people take, being taken away from you like really slowly. I'm an international student from Mexico, so traveling back home wasn't generally safe and, you know, I, my family's there, so I didn't want to take the risk of making them sick. Being an international student, there are just some barriers for traveling between the countries because of the border shutdowns. I was a little bit worried that I would get, like, infected and stuff, and then it would be really hard for me to come back to the United States later. I thought that this is a safer place to be in right now. I'm actually the international student who, co who comes from the farthest place on Earth, which is Mauritius. It's going to be very expensive, like, for travel costs as well, and, like, to come back, and it's very tiring. And also, like, just the time difference, the 12-hour time difference, it's, like, not very convenient for me to study here. Like, I'm, I'm in a better position to, like, study and, like, actually make the most of my education. I think the hardest thing so far, it's been staying in compliance with the shelter in place orders because uh, there are just so many rules nowadays like just for students living on campus uh, i mean as a, as a safety measure like it's very easy to just see you know a, a patrol just like going around it's for your safety but of course it, it also at, it, at least in my case it makes me just a little anxious a little bit earlier before the signs and the fields went up i was playing frisbee with one of the residents here in the police officer stopped and asked if we lived together because that was something that you're not supposed to be doing. For me, like, my daily life has, is mostly, like, confined in, in my room. It's, it's pretty much a routine now. Not a lot changes. I wake up around between seven or eight. And a good thing now is that I can go down to the common shower and just blast music as I take a shower because um, there's no one around to, to bother us. And then I run to the dining hall to grab some pre-packaged food and leave. There's tape on the floor that um, shows you how far six feet apart is like at each like station. So like there can only be one person standing at like one set of steam tables at a time. And then I sit on Zoom for like two hours to three or four, depending on the day, which is exhausting. Spending so much time behind the computer is just not good for me, but then I can definitely say that it's more productive, but not as fun as it used to be. Usually when I well, went to office hours, I would just like start conversations with people in the office hours and I would just actually make good friends. I have many good friends from office hours, but now office hours when I attend them, uh, it's just going into the Zoom call a few minutes you ask your question um it's also hard not to be able to go into like the lounge and like see people working on the same piece set as you and ask questions like you actually have to like reach out to people um which i think it's it's a similar thing uh, socially where like finding that social interaction is harder and requires more effort yeah even for my family i mean my family i call them every day um every morning at the time that like correspond the best for both of us which is a very narrow time frame so it's definitely it's a completely different sort of place to be right now than it was before i still see some people around but there isn't really the same sort of energy on campus of course like there are some a couple of people seen left in the dorm but uh i don't speak to most of them and the ones that i do it's just we just say hi to each other when we you know just like walk past each other in the dining hall or something so there's now there's almost no like person to person interactions here. Um, it's really empty. It's pretty sad, honestly. So I mean, I think that of the people that I do see on a day to day basis, like there's a lot of solidarity there in the in the loneliness. But um, I don't know. Very dystopian. It feels very dystopian on campus, honestly.